Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to read Lumetri scopes. All right, without further ado, let's get started. All right, right, we're in, inside of the Adobe Premiere Pro. I am currently on the color workspace. To be sure that we are on the same page, click on Window, Workspace, click on Color. And make sure that you click on Reset to save layout to. There you go. Now, this is the uh, Lumetri scopes. All right. Let's try to minimize this. Less confusing. All right, now there's a three uh, three graphs here. So if you want to see that, that's a ve vector scope. That's parade and that's waveform. All right, now for this uh, vector scope, okay, that's the vector scope. Let's uh, check it. Okay, let's try to just open the vector scope first. All right, so the vector scope is simply just a representation of a color saturation in your video clip. Okay, so right now, this is the program monitor, this is the color saturation measurement. Okay, as you can see, it moves, it also moves. All right, okay, now, um, now to make it a little bit, um, to make it a little bit uh, easier for us. Uh, I have here uh, a color bar, all right? So let's go and try to import the color bar that's located in our project panel. So go to project panel and let's go to assets and let's go to uh, photo and let's scroll down and there's a color bars here, all right? So let's try to drag this color bar. All right, let's try to drag this color bar in our timeline. All right, here. Okay, let's try to do it as an example. All right, so it's not fit, so I'm gonna do right click and scale to frame size. There you go. Now, as you can see, so it's on the right uh, measurement on the saturation. So the red color in here was right inside of the red box, okay? So as you see the, uh, okay, let's open basic correction here and let's, uh, let's, uh, Try to change the saturation to see the effect on these lumetri scopes. All right. So if I'll drag the saturation, I'll decrease. If I decrease the saturation to zero, well, let's see what will happen. All right. All of those uh, measurement will be uh, set on the zero. So this one's completely black and white, no color and whatsoever. That's why it's located here. Now, if you increase it, all right. As you notice, all right. There you go. I, as it increases the uh, saturation, all right, the uh, the color spread, all right, and it's already saturated in here. Now, just to be sure that we are on the uh, right uh, middle, all right, as you can not, as you see inside of this is um, is safe, all right. So it's up to you what do you want to do. But in this part, it's already you know it's almost nothing, all right. It's almost um, peaking here outside. So the bottom line is. The bottom line here is we should um, have the uh, uh, the measurement inside in inside of the circle. All right. So this is completely zero. This is almost uh, oversaturated, and this is the middle part is the great color. All right. So you will see notice that the red, magenta, uh, blue, cyan, green, yellow. So you will see what color is picking, what color is uh, what color is uh, not correct. So that you can manually manage that color, particularly to decrease it or increase it, uh, using these measurements in here. All right. So yep, that's basically that's your um, uh, Lumetri scope for uh, for uh, vector scope. All right. Now let's go to parade. So to parade, uh, let's uncheck this. All right. So this is the uh, parade RGB. So basically, it's only it's only measure the uh, brightness of the color all right so if that is the case let's go with exposure so if you push the exposure if you increase the exposure all right as you can see it's almost color white and so almost wash and it's on the 255 and 100 so in some uh, other countries in the broadcast if you're using television um, you know going in this color uh, above 100 is illegal all right. That's why they're using. That's why they're using the scopes to make sure that they're on the range of the color when they uh, show their uh, movies in the television. Okay. So if you decrease the exposure, as you can see, it will change it here and back to black. All right. So this is the uh, 
the brightness of the color darker from the zero and brighter from the top all right so your goal is to make sure if there's details just right above in the middle now the the darkness of the uh, the color and the brightness of the color is meeting right in the 90 and and 10 right and that's how you uh, read histograms also the uh, uh, also to those numbers the brightness so also the histogram is also measurement of the brightness of the colors all right so let's change the exposure here it will go down all right and we change the exposure uh, to increase it it will go up all right so that's it so it's all measurement of the color okay all right say for example in this clip all right let's try the rgb uh, rgb rgb parade that's all right so with the rgb parade so there's a measurement of uh, the green the green the red and the blue color in the footage all right this is the representation all right now we don't want to pick here in the 100 because it's already picking as you can see there's some colors that's already uh, almost picking so we can try to decrease it by doing the exposure we can uh, decrease it all right to make it a little bit um, lower and for the uh, uh, for here as you can see the green is a little bit uh, picking here and the red is not the blue is just right about so you can use the uh, creative or the uh, curves here to manage the the particular color all right so um say for example the red you don't you want this this is the uh, uh midtones highlights and shadows all right so uh you you press this to make a dot to make it changes normally i put three dots here so that there's a baseline and say for example i want to uh, this is the shadows, shadows, midtones, and highlights. All right. So let's change this part red to make it a little bit uh, lower. There you go. All right. I'm just dragging it down. And for the blue, uh, for the uh, green to correct, uh, to grade it, color correct it. Uh, we can try to um, make some dots again. All right. And then let's try to. This, this is the shadows, all right? Let's try to uh, dec increase the shadows. There you go, all right, find that. And also the blue is perfectly right there. And if you want to adjust the uh, highlights too of this part, so the red is kind of peaking, so if you want to pull it down, so go in red and pull this down. All right, or maybe this one at the very top, pull it down. All right, pull it down. All right, and for the green, you can pull it down too. All right, and for the blue, you can pull it down too. There you go. So basically, you have 90 to 10. All right, and this is the result of the image. All right, so basically, you can work on you know the metri scopes and color. Uh, we can uh, we can we just barely scratch the surface of these uh, thing. Uh, you can do a lot more than this, all right. But uh, for the basic uh, understanding how to read the metri scopes, uh, I think uh, you know you can enhance your uh, skills on colors if you really want to focus on colors, all right. But basically, that's it. Uh, that's how you use curves to influence the color in your video. I think that's it and that's how you read Lumetri scopes inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.